beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is brenda mashlobo it is so good to have you over here and in case you were just searching some content about Shein or customs and you know subscribe please do consider subscribing and also i'd like to appreciate people who recently subscribed to my channel i've been seeing numbers man even if it's like two numbers a day, still enough, even though it's not consistent. If it was consistent, I'd get to the end of this month with at least 500 subs. If I get two a day, which is not impossible. If you think about it, it's not a lot to ask. It's not a difficult thing to ask. So yeah, and then yes, my name is Brenda Mashobo. And welcome to my space. I basically keep it real over here. So to on today's video, I want to just briefly or shortly Give you guys an update about that customs mayhem featuring aramex and every debacle that i went through with that so just to give you a little bit of an update so i kept on sending emails and i wasn't getting any response and one good day i was on youtube um and then i think it just popped up on my feed there was a video of a lady by the name i can't remember right now because that was definitely almost like a month ago um, but I'll try by all means to look for it and just mention her on my screen. And then she mentioned something about going to the app and then going to the support services um, where you can leave your message and then get, you know, an interactive um, opportunity with people from Shein. And then I tried that and I think they took 24 hours to get back to me or it didn't get to because they say if you do type a message in that space i think it's called support services um yeah but I'd also when i'm editing in case it's not support services but you go to your app and then you go i think to your account where you know where you can change currency because if you are a south african and then you purchase um some items from Shein and then your currency was like in rent and then it changes to usd you know where you go and put it back to um south african rents that's it that's the same platform that it's in it's, i think it's called support services but i'll double check in case it's not support services i'll put like the exact terminology of that platform and then they say if you type a message they tell you um they're going to get back to you within the 24 hours from that message so and then it was not different from this time also when i typed and then i explained everything and they asked me for proof of payment. And then I was also asked if I want my 50% reimbursement to be, um, you know, to be added into my Shein wallet, which basically means they were going to credit my card or wallets, like in simpler terms. Or I want it to be injected bank on the bank account I used. I said I wanted um, it to be on my bank account. So but here's the thing about this process they said they were going to give me 50 percent but they only gave me they only gave me 50 percent of i think a penalty fee so i paid like two i paid 700 reds hmm, times two and if you are interested in this conversation and you want to know what transpired i've got a video on my channel i think it's if you're counting like it's the third video when you're going back so where you can just go and get some perspective so that you understand exactly what i'm talking about so they were like 700 rand. i think it was penalty fee the other one was i don't know what it was called but i was only in best for like 300 and some change but slightly less than 370 in south african rents which was like half of a penalty fee but i incurred another fee that i cannot remember from the top of my head right now but they gave it a name and then the 500 rand custom that I was supposed to pay initially. So I'm not worried about that. I don't want any reimbursement for that. But the other fees that I incurred because of their doing, I wanted it reinvested in my account. But then I said to myself, I've been, you know, at this issue for too long. Let me just leave it at the end of the day. Like I got like a quarter, we're going to put it like that, a quarter of the money I ended up spending. So which was not cool. But I guess I just appreciated the fact that now I know where to go in order to um, get you know, like a response because I was just sending emails. They were just sending emails like on every email possible that I was getting. 
which is something that I did not like about Shein because I was comparing it to Wholesale 7. I think my first international order was from Wholesale 7. What I liked about Wholesale 7 is the fact that I was chatting to somebody from that company on WhatsApp, okay? There was a coat I wanted and then it was out of stock, but I had already paid for it. So it was very interactive on WhatsApp and then they paid my money. And I think within like slightly two weeks period, but the items I did not like. Number one, they did not have a extra small back then. I don't know. I have not checked them for like over two years. Ever since I started with Shein, I have not been checking anything from Wholesale 7. But it, there was just something about the quality of their clothes that I did not like. I just only purchased like that batch, that only batch. I did not go back. So if you had seen my pinkish leather jacket and my other... Um, black leather jacket like quite nice they're quite nice i must say but the thing the fit wasn't properly i don't know why now <laughs> i'm doing these comparisons but i was just you know i wanted to just pass by there so i was paid but not the amount i was supposed to get back but anyway we move i've got the other two <laughs> these came separately as i said i wasn't saying we must not buy from shit and i was just you know letting you guys know that you might be a victim of that circumstance that i i went through so i briefly want to show you guys what i bought so that i can go on and just wear these items i still have that other winter haul featuring shit in coming up i don't know when i'm going to film to be quite honest with you but i am going to find time and film that Cause the thing about that, I've been wearing those items, but the nice thing again is that I already have the content. I shot the content. I tried them on while I was still excited about them, considering they were like unworn, they were still new. Um, that is also gonna come. Uh, I'm talking too much, I know. <laughs> so let's just start with the first um, item. Okay, I'm gonna open this jacket. So there's a section within um, the Shein organization, okay? So there's like normal Shein brands and then there's like another Moti F brand. That's how I call it. I don't know, but I call it Moti F. It's either you say M-O-T-F or there's another way you can call it. I don't know and I don't care. And then there's a Daisy or a Dazzy brand still within Shein. I need to let you know that I am super fond of this um brand so even look at the plastic the packet comes with it's not your normal Shein branded plastic it's this is how it looks like it's also bigger than the other packs regardless of um the size of the item the item you you purchased so I highly recommend it. I think I have three or four items from that. The other three items are gonna make um they're gonna make it to the other haul that I keep on preaching about, telling you guys about, and it's not coming. But first, in this segment, I've got this jacket. Oh. Holy great, I've got this jacket. It's of a light material. This it has this two-tone brown uh, colors going on here. I'll try and just quickly open the inside. So it's still new. Have not been worn. I got this in a size small. You know, if you're also frequenting like Daisy or Dazzy um, section, you know that their small is like quite quite small. I guess their small is a size four. I'm um, not that I guess I know they're small as a size four. So I got this in a size four as well. It's slightly just on the bigger size because this is how uh, it sits on me. See how it sits on me. And then I think the length as well in the arms is perfect. So um, I am going to just include like a screenshot of the prices but most most of the items are sold out as usual <laughs> i 
why I keep doing this thing to you guys where I just can't show you items that are sold out already. I also bought these. Also have not tried them on. Um, I don't know what to call these. Are these joggers? Track pants? I don't think so. But they like bell bottom vibe going on here. I got these in a size extra small. So this is just like a normal she in brand. Not from a Dazzy section. I can't remember why I bought this. It must have been on sale. It must have been ridiculously on sale. Because I've got no idea why I got this. And um, what I'm going to do with it. It's still quite blurry at this point. But I got it anyway. So we're moving on to the other huge package. I've got this. I don't know whether to call this a waistcoat or a white it, it comes in a soft knit material very very soft um i got this as an, in a size medium but also some of the items from she income like you know without any tag to actually double check before oh it's on the side i got them in a medium i don't know i'm usually a small and at times an extra small a comfortable extra small depending on whether the item stretches or not but here i got a medium and i'm proud of myself for getting a medium because i don't know i just wanted a loose um relaxed fit so moving right along oh you saw these you definitely saw this but you just saw the top from the father's day content that i shot i think you can still get these um i haven't checked but I'm just hoping you can still get this so it's a pajama set long um sleeve uh leopard print my mother is outside i don't know who um she's talking to but it comes in this satin this not so cheap it does not look cheap it's not even that thin so it's it comes this comes in, in like the top and then long pants as well but the pins are black in color so these were in a size small if i can still find um these items i'll take a screenshot and show it to you here's another thing that i bought and i was quite a bit disappointed about it because it is so see-through it's like a see-through it's not even funny in a tea net at some point if it's more book so you know these body suits that just covers up to i don't know where but they're not like they don't go all all the way down here you know? so it's like a crop top and then an extension that gives an illusion of a bodysuit so yeah i think this was also on sale because like i wouldn't have just uh, decided to <laughs> Go look for it and buy it. So, um, moving to a more main character type of item. I've got these pins. My mom is having a conversation. I've got these pins. Um, these military vibes pins. These actually do come, not this this one in particular, but I've seen like military pants that comes, what do you call these? Camouflage. Yeah, not military, but you, you've got the point. So they come in like different, I've seen not these ones in particular, but I'm just saying, should you be interested in getting any camouflage pants from Shein? They come in different colors. I've seen some in like purple, some like reddish, some like not orange, red. But I'm not quite sure of the quality, the quality of the material. Um, yeah, I'm quite disturbed. I was not going to choose this spot to film in if people were here already. But they just walked in and I guess I'm not in my house. I don't have a house. <laughs> so, but the quality here is awesome. I think this one is still available. I got this in an extra small. So let's move on so that we try and wrap this. Um, yeah. Fast. 
Oh, I'm also, this is another like main character thing. Ah, I die. It's a bodysuit. Ah, no, it's not a bodysuit, it's a jumpsuit. It's a jumpsuit that's like open. It says like, like wide leg type of vibe. But I think it just starts from, yeah, down here, just going down. It's not like a bell bottom type of thing, but it's just like wide leg bodysuit and it has this opening i'll have to sort this out because now i'm thinking i can wear this at work but this is too low i'll have to just get it out and just at least just leave this you know this space open because i mean uh, people want to say it's revealing if it's like this they're mad so long sleeve material is a stretchy one but not not like liberally it does not like liberally stretch it's a stretchy material but so you know within its um expensive looking confines um yeah I, this is like a normal uh, i collect this almost every order almost every order i get this so last item is also from a Dazi a collection. I got this nice top. It's also a neat top. It's so nice. Also, um, Dazi's things or Daisy's things are of good quality. I have never encountered any any daisy thingy that's not quality you know why i might even consider just consider calling it dazzy because there's also a men section of dazzy so i guess it can be a daisy this side or like dazzy all over whatever i choose to do at first when i wasn't quite acquainted with the she in name i called it shane like for the longest time i was saying shane but i heard people saying she in so i was like you know it's just a technicality it's a political statement you decide you choose what you want to say so this is like a last item i love this so much i i just let me try and just give you a sneak preview but yeah we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and if there's anything you liked please let me know i am going to include um the screenshot of the things that are still available if i can't find it I'll try and just, you know, just write something about it not being available. But because I want to post it today, like, shortly, let's, let's, I'm, let me not promise that, but I'll include it if it's still available, even if it's not available, but just for you to see how it's set on a, set on a model. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for coming back and for subscribing. Bye.